morning guys oh my gosh it's been a long time um but you know what i'm gonna start this off with a quick confession i lost my shit this morning it wasn't a great morning at first uh i got pissed off at the dog i got pissed off at the kids i got pissed off at raf i lost my shit and i don't know i mean i initially got mad because i saw ari chewing on her brand new harness and broke it once again and then from there it just cascaded into just me losing it and um i quickly recognized how unnecessary that was but not without me like throwing a fit first not okay not okay but i am human and i think it's that time of the month like i usually have like ladies you might know this no you will know this you have like one day some people have it throughout the week but me it's like one day um a few days prior to me starting you know shark week where i like it's very hard for me to control my emotions and that happened to me this morning completely lost my shit like i yelled at the top of my lungs and ralph was like dude you need to calm down like we were having such a good morning like i don't know what's wrong with you and i was like i don't know i don't know either <laughs> and it took i had to take some deep breaths you guys and then i apologized to everybody like i was like i felt so bad i felt so so bad but I went up to Austin because Austin started crying and I, I had to apologize to him. I told him like how unnecessary it was for me to blow up that way. Um, Cause he did do something, you know, too, that pissed me off this morning. But I was like, okay, that still didn't call for my reaction, right? Like it still wasn't okay. Let's all learn from this morning. Let's all take a deep breath together. So we hugged it out, such a good kid. Um, I held the, the two little ones hands. I mean, they were fine. They weren't phased like they were doing their own thing But like I made sure to sit down talk to them at eye level as well And I said hey mommy is sorry that um, I blew up that way. That's not okay, and I love you And they're like, okay, I love you too Like, you know, that's just the way they handle things and Raph actually had to leave this morning and I just sent him a text I was like, I'm so sorry, babe. I blew up like unnecessarily um, I hope you have a great day. And so we're fine now. Everyone's fine now. But I just want you to know, like, I lose my shit sometimes. Like, a lot of people think, a lot of you guys think, like, I'm always positive and happy-go-lucky and loving all the time. I have my moments as well. We are all allowed to have moments like that. And that was mine. So anyways, moving on. <laughs> moving on, right? Okay, so you guys, I obviously have uh, been lagging on vlogs. It's been a, a rough one. It's been tough for me to keep up with them just because there's so much going on here. Um, so much going on with my business as a coach, you guys. It's been amazing. Yeah. I have been loving working with so many of you. A lot of my clients right now have found me from the vlog. And um, if you have any questions about what I'm doing now, please head on over to my brand new website, www.aprilsbeautifulmess.com. I'll put it right here. Um, I just had it redesigned. It looks so freaking beautiful. Um, Sharon, the lady who designed it for me, just she took my vision and ran with it. I really didn't even have a vision for it. I was just like, please just make it look pretty. <laughs> and she did, and it looks freaking amazing. Um, but anyways, yeah, if you guys have any questions about working with me as your coach, I my main focus is self-love, redefining the meaning of self-love so that you can reconnect with your soul's purpose. That is my... Um, that is my main purpose as your coach. Um, but if you have any questions, please feel free to email me, contact me through the website and let's get, you know, let's get to work. Austin's in school. The kids are doing their own thing right now. And then later on today, um, I really don't know what our plans are, but I will take you guys along. I'm going to start just videotaping more random stuff again. Um, I know like we used to do that all the time, right? And for some reason I just like lost that mojo of just bringing you guys along with us and, and experiencing us as a family again. So I'm gonna do better. That's my goal, especially for 2021. I really want to um, amp up the vlogs once again. And I'm just so glad that you guys have stuck around this long and are so patient and loving with me. I love you guys so much. All right, so Adrian, since you haven't, you didn't get to start school. <laughs> since you didn't get to start school this year, we are doing homeschool, right? So we have been practicing reading, and we're using um, this. What is this called? Learning Dynamics Four Weeks to Read. dot com. We got this set of books, and we've been practicing letters. So today we practice the letter I, right? Mm -hmm. So can you read these words? Dip. Dip. Good job. How about um? How about that? Let. Good job again. How about that? 
Yes. How about that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good job. All right, high five. You're doing so good. Hi, Lara. I know the letter A says. No, that's A. It's a whole alphabet. So yeah, I really, really love how the Four Weeks to Read program like makes it so fun for them. It has music, it has um, a workbook, it has a lesson plan for the parents so we know how to cover it. And it's literally, and it's literally like only 15 minutes of our day. And Adrian has been just starting to read words all over the place and it's really exciting. We haven't even gone through all of the alphabet yet. It makes it fun because Isla is also catching on. She has fun watching her brother learn. So she is also starting to pick up on some of those sounds of the letters, which helps with her speech therapy. All right, the house is quiet. The two littles are at my mom's house. Austin went to go to his guitar lesson, which later I am so excited to show you what he has learned. He's only been taking guitar now for a couple months and it's once a week and it's like 30 minutes to an hour. And he's already learning so much, you guys. He's our own little artist in the house. I mean, he's just blooming. He's learning so fast. So I will definitely have him play for you guys in a little bit. Uh, but right now I am in full on content creation mode for my business. Um, I have been working on a lot of content. I, I'm having a promo right now for my one-to-one -one eight week program. It's on sale until the end of the month. And then that is it. It'll never be this low again. So if you are wanting to work together or wanting to learn more about my program again, hit up my site and we can talk. I know 2020 has been a crazy year. Uh, financially, there's been some hardships for a lot of people. So that's why I really wanted to uh, create a promotion that is going to be attainable for people who really, really want the change. I also offer payment plans so that we can get this ball rolling so that 2021 can be so much better. You can finally start to feel like yourself. You can finally start to feel actually like a better version of yourself. Um, if you've been stuck in a rut of like negativity, self-doubt, insecurity, whatever that could be, I'm your girl. I'm going to be your hype girl through it all for a full eight weeks. You have access to me daily for all of those eight weeks so anyways enough about that um, I'm just gonna get to work on this for a little bit and then I think Raph and I are gonna go um, try to do a little bit of Christmas shopping we really haven't done much yet um, I have like all the little kids of the family done but I don't have my kids done um, and this year honestly for Raph like I gifted him something a little unconventional so he already knows what it is because he already started it but um so he as you guys know he's in real estate right but he actually just recently branched off on his own and because we both want to really like level up in 2021 we you know i he saw that i worked with a business coach this year and he was like fired up about it he saw how fired up i was and uh, like that just you know really inspired him to go on his own and do the damn thing for himself right so what i did for his birthday slash christmas because they are so close together I hired him a business coach, business slash, slash accountability coach, um, because there's parts of me that like, I want to coach him too, but I can't be that. I can't be a coach and a wife, right? It's not right. It's not fair for me. It's not fair for him. And I'm just going to be harping on him all the time. So I wanted to put that responsibility on someone else. Um, so anyways, he has um, his own coach now for the next three months. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen with that because he has only had like one call with her so far. She's a mutual, she's one of my friends. Um, but you know, that one call alone has already gotten him so hyped up and I'm just very excited for his growth as well. So, you know, we're just trying to do some big things over here at the Santa Domingo house. And, um, you know, I want to be able to bring you guys along more with us so you can see like what we're really up to. I know like this year has been like, as far as vlogs, I've been lacking so much, but let me get back to my biz stuff and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm just going to show you my new guitar skills I've been working on.
matches with your song but we just I can't hear you when you sing it so I'm just gonna yeah. have you sing it without it right uh, okay. so, um, today is just a good day for me me today I'm just in the mood let's get work and do anything I want to like cliff diving rock climbing or I could just lay in my bed and keep la 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 singing I don't have any more, that's just the first verse, but if I did that, my chord thing, then that would match that, and i just keep repeating my chord, and my chord thing that I just did. Love it. Thank you, Ben. You're welcome. All right, so while while Austin is getting the lyrics, Adrian, can we talk about, come here, because you've been missing Daddy Ben a lot lately, right? Mm -hmm. So can you tell them what we decided to, that helps when, when you get sad and miss Daddy Ben? What do you do now? I close my eyes and then put two hands on my heart. And the first thing I do, I feel a, I pretend like there's a light switch. What does a light switch do? What does that mean? It puts like a, it's like making a light come down. Uh, from Daddy Ben to yeah. your heart. To your heart, yeah. And it's like Daddy Ben's hugging your heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that makes you feel better, right? <laughs> Ever since we did that, you don't feel sad anymore. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I don't know if this might help someone out there, but you know, Adrian is having a really hard time um, missing Daddy Ben almost every day. He would cry almost every night, um, just missing him. And he would come into our bed and just need some extra cuddles. Uh, but we figured out, you know you know me, like I love using visualization techniques, mind te mindset techniques. Um, so we created this beautiful meditation where we imagined that Daddy Ben was this beautiful light and all, all Adrian would have to do is turn on a light switch and when he would turn on the light switch, Daddy Ben would be there and he would be shooting a light from his heart to Adrian's heart and he would feel the warmth of Daddy Ben's love in his heart and that was what did it. That's what worked. He hasn't cried for Daddy Ben since and he actually like, smiles now And whenever we talk about Daddy Ben or if we mention Daddy Ben. So... If any of you guys have lost someone this year, or if you have children who are coping with a loss, maybe you can try some sort of meditation or visualization like that. It might help. Uh, okay. No, I won't break down. I won't shake. I won't break. Just because you are gone doesn't mean I can't go on. You pass your love down on me. So that means I can release these sad feelings, feelings, feelings. No, I won't break down. I won't shake. I won't break these feelings, these feelings. Are sawing me down to the ground breaking my bones like sticks and stones and that's it i don't have any more <laughs> that's so yeah. beautiful oh Aww. adrian loved that song that you made thank you adrian <laughs> what so i'm not done yet okay i'm still like thinking what i should okay well it's beautiful bub i love it thank you yes. <laughs> thank, thank you. you for sharing all right guys that's it for today's vlog uh thank you so much again for joining us again don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell because you know i'm unpredictable of when i put these videos up so i'll talk to you guys soon have a good night casey bye bye oh. <laughs>